Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on where you are in the world and if you're watching this recording. Welcome to TechSoup Connect Australia, making a Canva card for the holidays. It is to currently the 23rd of November. So it we've got a, roughly a month until Christmas. So it's still not too late to send out a holiday card to your clients if you want to make them feel a little bit extra special this year. I know 2022 has been a challenge for a lot of people. So sometimes it's nice to do something that stands out a little bit. Plus, it doesn't hurt to make yourself stand out in the minds of your clients. So I'm Kat Milner. I am the founder, operator, and chief technical ninja of Create Your Change, which is a business that's all about digital mentoring. I am both your host and your presenter today, and it is my pleasure to present this workshop about Canva. So those of you that are here in person, please feel free to drop in to the chat if you have any questions. If there's anything that you'd like to see, if you'd like to see me go over something again. So what you'd want to do is sign into your account and then we're going to create a design. Now, today's card is going to be one of those square cards that is folded over and put in an envelope. So if you are looking to do a digital card or be able to send it quickly as a JPEG, that's totally doable. It's just not the specific one that we're doing today. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a card and we're going to do it in two parts and I'll explain why in a moment. And then we're going to show you how to get that set up and printed through Vistaprint. Now you can print through Canva, but I'll be honest with you, it's a lot more expensive and we'll get into that a little bit later on as well. So let's dive into it. There we go. So here we are on Canva and we're going to go ahead and do a custom size. So all we did was go up to create a design and then actually go up to create a design up here in the right hand corner. So you should be able to see my bouncing little yellow highlighted cursor. So we go up to create a design and then we go to custom size. And I went on to Vistaprint earlier and I got the dimensions. So the front and the back are going to be 11.7. And the height is going to be 18.2. Custom designs, custom size. We're going to start with centimeters. It's actually going to be 14 by 14 is centimeters. So it's going to be that square card. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create that. Get that up out of the way. And what I want to do is find a template. Okay. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to search on happy holidays because I, I'm just going to click that because I searched on it before and I want to find a holiday one that I like. Okay. So let's say, let's look at that one. Nah, I don't like that one. And I can't say happy winter holidays because it's summer here in Australia. So we're just going to pick, I don't like doing Christmas, but I don't want to just take too long picking something out either. So I like the little gnome guy. So we're going to use him. Now, I don't want it to say happy holidays from a really great site because that's stupid. So I'm going to double click in that text block and I'm going to hit control A to select it. And I'm going to put from create your change, which is my business. So perfect. So that is now the front of my card, which is awesome. And I'm now going to, let's say, duplicate this page. So if you come up here, you can either lock it, duplicate it, or just add a page. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that one. But I don't want all of the design in here. So I'm just going to delete it, select and delete it. And select and delete. There we go. And so now I just have this really cool background. So what I'm going to do is I want to add like maybe say my logo, oops, control Z, I want to keep the snow field. So what I'm going to do is come over to my uploads. Now, if you haven't uploaded a, an image yet, it's really very simple. You just click upload file. And then you pick an image that, let me go over to my images. And then you would just pick an image that you like. And let's say that one. 
hit open and it uploads it. So it's really simple to upload images. If you have your... Kat, you're muted and I can't see a shared screen or anything. I can only see you. So. Ah, okay. Let me stop. Okay. That was really weird. Okay, let me try that again. So let me go share screen. Uh, screen. Okay, can you see the screen now? Okay, is the audio okay? It's sounding a little weird to me. Okay, I'm. It's, uh, hold on, I'm gonna stop. Stop the share first. Share first. So I have this now. Everybody can see the screen now. Okay, so apparently we were having an issue with that a minute ago. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to drop them in the chat, and I will try to keep an eye on that. Okay, so basically, you can either hit upload file and grab a picture and upload it from there, or you can also just grab a picture and pull it over and it'll copy it that way as well. So it's really easy to get images into Canva. Cancel that. Okay, so what I'm gonna wanna do is put like my, my little logo here that I uploaded earlier today. And I just wanna put that down at the bottom. Now I wanna point out as I move things around here that you'll notice the little pink lines that show up. So you'll see, so that box is what's called a bounding box. And it's basically, you want to keep all of your content within th that pink box, because that way, if you print it or something, it makes sure that it, everything gets printed. Because if you go too far outside of that box, some of it may not be included. So I'm just gonna put, and these kind of dotted lines show you when you're like centered, so if I wanted it absolutely centered, that would be centered within the entire space. But I'm actually going to just bring it down to the bottom here. So it's centered, it's right on the bottom. And I just think it looks fun like that. Okay, so that is the back of the card. And this is going to be the front of my card. Now you can always, yeah, I know it's cute, isn't it? You can always change the images. You can change the font. You can, if I didn't like the font on here, I would come over here and just pick something else. Okay, just remember Dreaming Outland Sands. So I could do like that one, but I like the one that they used. I think it's cute. So that's gonna be the front and the back of our card. And then to create, but when we go to create the middle of it, it's going to look very different. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to move that over there. And then I'm going to come, oh, actually this is the holiday front back. Okay. So what I'm doing up here is I'm naming the card so that I can find it when I go into, so if I go back into the home, actually, let's go on. oops. So if I go back here, eventually it's going to show up under my recent designs. Okay. So now I'm going to go create a design, custom size again, only this time I'm going to want it to be 28.24 by 14.27. Create. No, go away. Stop that. I'm just going to title this inside holiday exam. Okay. So then, so now what'll happen, so that is, so the front and the back of the card is obviously just that, the front and the back of the card. But when you open it up, it doubles the space, but you can only have one size in a particular design that you have going on. So you have to create a second design to fulfill the middle of the card. So I come into the middle of the card and I click on it. And if you look in the upper left-hand corner here, this little rainbow thing that says background color. Now you can choose backgrounds from over here if you wanted to do something like that. There you go. Oops. You can totally do that, but I don't want anything quite that busy. So I'm just gonna come up to this little color icon and I'm going to pick a pale blue that I really like. Okay. And so that, and if you want to, you can actually come over to the elements and grab a line and rotate that to 90 degrees. 
it's always a little bit tricky to get it right on 90. There we go. And then move that until it's absolutely centered. So if you need to separate the card one side or the other, I would say put a line right down the middle and then delete it later on. So that way you know where everything is going. So one of the fun things that you can do are, you, are what are called frames. So if you come over to the elements tab and you scroll down a little bit, there's, there are these things called frames and I'm just gonna do a see all. So they have a, quite a few different choices of what you can use here. And what these are, oh, you know what? Let me show you what they are. So let's say we wanna use this one. And I'm going to grab that and just move it over here. I'm gonna line it up with my box and I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller, okay? And then I'm gonna go over to my uploads. And earlier today I uploaded my headshot. So I'm just gonna left click and hold on that. And then when I drag it over, oops, come on, get in there. Oops, come on. You gotta get it just right. There you go. So you see how it mapped in to that? So let me do that again. I'm gonna go control Z. So I've got my frame. Then I grab my picture. And if I bring it over the whole thing, I don't want that obviously. And then you move it over the thing and you can just see how it is inside the frame now. And then you let go and there's your picture. And you can make it bigger or smaller if you want. And let's see, let me go over to my frames again. And let's use maybe that one. I'm gonna bring that one over here. Make that one a little bit smaller there. Go back to my uploads tab. I'm gonna snag this one and put him right there. Easy done. So then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually make that a little bit smaller. Oops. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna come over to the text tab. And you have three choices. You've got heading, subheading, and body text. You also have different things that you can use down here, but we're not gonna get into those today. And I'm just gonna add a heading. Now I can left click on that and, oops, and move it up. There we go. And I'm gonna control A to do that. And then I'm just gonna go and create a little bit of text in there. Now, this is going to be an incredibly simple card, but you can do a lot of things to jazz it up a little bit. If we go back to the elements and we get out of frames and you have like lines and shapes. So let's say I did, let's say I do a circle and I just move that over here and then I right click on it and I sent it to the back. And then that way I can, oops, move that around. Oops, there we go. Sometimes they're a li little bit tricky, but you can create like a little bit of a background to it to give it, to make it stand out just a little bit. And let me do it again over here. I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger so it's a bit easier to work with and send it backward. And, and that kind of gives you that idea. So you can create little things and you can change the colors of those too. Cause you'll see that it comes up with that dark blue. And let's say maybe I want it to match the bright blue of his shirt. Now nah, that fades in too much. Oh, let's go maybe a little bit of a teal. So you can do things like that to make different elements stand out a little bit. And then you, and you can also use these, for example, something like that. And then let's maybe make that a little bit. And then you can put a text block over it. And let's say a little bit of that, a bit of body text. And I pre-wrote some stuff earlier today. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. I forgot to copy that bit. Okay. Okay. So we've got that. And then we're going to go here again. Okay, now what's really fun with these is you can also see it's good. It make it look like it's handwritten. Obviously it's not, we all know that it's not, even though, although you could create an image of someone's handwritten note and then upload that, but we're not gonna worry about that today. 
but you can go over here and find a nice font that looks like it's handwritten and do something like that. If you, then what I might do is just, I'm gonna select that one. I'm gonna hold down shift, select that one, and then select the box and I'm going to group them. So what that does is it connects them all together so that when you move it, they all, they don't, that it's not one thing, it moves the entire group, which I absolutely love. So now I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to do a control C, which copies it and a control V, which pastes it. And then I'm gonna move this one over here. Oh, the other thing you can do is also maybe shrink that down just a little bit. There we go. And then I'm gonna shrink this one down just a little bit. And now I'm gonna come over. Now that's all selected. I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna ungroup it. So that way I can change the text in it. Okay. And then I come over here and edit that one. And just like that, I've got my other one. So that way it, and I can select, hold down shift and select and hold down shift to select again, group it. Now I can move these around if I need to. Perfect. Now what I might do is take that out and let's do one more little bit of body text and grab the copy that I actually copied earlier. Okay, now if you look at the box oops, that this is in, you'll see that there are white dots on the corners and little white lines on the side. If you left click and hold on the little line, you can bring it in just like that. There we go. And then grab it and center everything. There we go, perfect. Bring it up just a little bit. And then let's say I want to do something a little bit fun. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to type up, up, up to the search area over here. And I'm going to do champagne. Oh, nope. I have to be, sorry. I have to be in the elements tab. Get out of lines and shapes. And then I'm going to put champagne glass. And let's use that one. I'm just going to, okay, so those little white dots in the corners here, those actually let you change the sizing on things. So we're just going to make that nice and small like that, line it up with that one, go back over here to the text tab, clear that, and we're going to add one more little bit of body text, and just grab my pre-written text, and boom, done. And that's the middle of the card done. Okay, so I'm gonna pause here because I just realized I probably went through that a little bit more quickly than I really meant to. And move that over a little bit. And you'll see how when I move this, it shows that box and not everything is quite inside of it. So I'm gonna make this just a little bit smaller so that it's just inside that box. And that one is fine, but I'm going to make that one just a tiny bit smaller too. And that. And now he's inside the box too. So now everything fits inside that box. So I went through that a little bit more quickly than I meant to, just because sometimes it's easy to do that. So I just want to stop and check in and see if anyone has any questions. So if you could just drop that in the chat. If you do have any questions or if there's anything that you'd like me to go over again, I'm happy to do that. Okay, so not seeing any questions. Let me just actually take a quick drink of water. So let's start over again, just to do a, a quick recap. So you come into Canva. Today we are making a square two-sided card. So the first thing is what I did is I went into Vista print and I got the dimensions of how they're going to print it. And I'll get into why I did that in just a moment. So the first one was 14 by 14 for the front side and the back side, but the middle, when you open it up is going to be twice the size. So I had to make a second one that is 28.4 by 14.27. And that's in centimeters, okay? 
So then I went in and I, so what I did is I came over here and I said, okay, I'm going to create a design. And I made one that was 14 by 14. And I've got to do that. There we go. And I went in and I went to my templates over here on the left side. And I searched my templates for happy holidays. And I just went through it and decided to find something fun. Now you can always do your own image with something like this, but, or you can choose something that, that they did. So for example, something like that. And up here, you can duplicate or just add another page. So I just duplicated it. I'm going to take out the text boxes. Oops. Just get, oops. That's not what I wanted to do. I want the happy holidays gone. There we go. So it leaves the fun little thing back here. And then I went to my uploads and I would just put my logo in the middle of that. So that then is my front and my back of my card. And then I went back to my, to my homepage, creating another custom size of my 28, in my doubled side. And then I create my new design. Why is it continuing to ask me that? Uh, go away, go away. Sorry, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, so this is now that square card open, the size of that. And so then what I would do is just like maybe find a background color, go to my elements, and then put in whatever it is that I want. Oh, I wouldn't want one that moved, but put in whatever element that I wanted to use. Now, keep in mind when, if you are on the free version of Canva, the ones that have this little crown that says pro on it, you're not going to be, have access to those unless you pay for them. I'm actually on a free trial of the pro version. And I have to admit a lot of the really good designs you can only get on the paid version, but I've used the free version for three years and it's been awesome. The reason I decided to do a, the paid, the trial of the paid version is because I needed to remove the background of an image and you can do that easily on the paid version, but you can't do it on the free version. So anyway, so that's how you get the two-sided card is you do the front and back of the square and the, of the one size, and then you create the second size of the one that is the, the one that you need that for the inside of the card, the, the, twi the double size. Okay. So we're going to go back to here and the, now we're going to, okay. So the reason that I am using Vistaprint as opposed to Canva itself is because I actually have, okay, okay. So let's go to share. Actually, let me get out of that one for a second. So I've got my holiday card here. And if I go share, you can say print your design and Okay, so earlier I did one that was actually off of a card and it came up. Okay, so let me go to card, actually. Let's go to creating oops, card. Nope, okay, let's try that again. Or, okay, it's not coming up the way that I originally did it, but that's okay. Let's try that again. Let's go share. And then we're going to go print your design. And... Square cards, there we go. Okay, so we can do that. All right, fine, whatever. So now it says that you've got your front and your back, but look at this, 50 of them are $40 Australian. Yeah, I personally find that a little bit outrageous. I'm sure they're fantastic quality, but $40 for 50 cards, that's, no, I think I can do better. I just, I think I can do better. So what I did is I went on to Vistaprint and where you can do personalized greeting cards and actually, let me go back over here and they're having a sale right now. So 60% off, but what you do is just go shop your Christmas cards. So you just go to Vistaprint. This is the homepage for Vistaprint. When you sign in, I, re I recommend have, it's a free account. I recommend having one that way. If you ever want to reprint anything, it's really easy to do that. Okay. Like I made mugs for my business the other day. And I'll just show you that real quick. Cause they're cute. Sorry. That's not what I wanted to do. 
Oh, there we go. My projects. Go away. I don't not want to do that. Okay. So I did these mugs. I don't want to rename it. I just want to look at it for crying out loud. So this is what my little mug looks like. It has my logo on it. I love the colors. It's branded. I'm absolutely loving that. And on the other side, it has the name of my business. And so don't tell my husband, I ordered him one for Christmas. <laughs> but he also, I also made one for him. And he does a podcast called The Horror Crypt. And this is what his mug looks like. So that when he's drinking it in front of his audience, that's what it looks like. So I, and I, so I got, or so I made that for him for Christmas. So it's really easy and fun to do stuff like that. And I think they only cost me about six or $7 a mug. Easy done. Okay. So we're going to go back to the main page and we're just going to click shop Christmas. And they come up and they have a ton of designs to choose from. So you can actually do it from here as well. I personally like customizing it more, which is why I do it on Canva first. And then it says upload your design. And if you look at it, we're gonna do the vertical 14 by 14. And it is starting at 11.99 for, I forget exactly how, oh, for 10, 11.99 for 10. So for the same number of cards, it's like $40 or $30 cheaper give or take. So we're going to go into that one. And I just realized I forgot to show you how to select that. Okay. So let's go back to our cards for a second. Okay. So this is going to be the inside of our card. So the easiest way to do this is to click, go up here and click share. And then you're going to go to download. I personally like to do it in JPEG. I find it is a better resolution. And I'm just going to go ahead and download that. Okay. And I'm going to save that over here as inside holiday example. And then I'm going to go to my front and back and I'm going to hit that share button again. Then I'm going to come to download, change it to JPEG and hit download. And it's downloading both sides at once and it will do it as a zip folder. So what that means is it came down as, as a compressed zip folder. So you just go ahead and hit save on that. And then what I do is I come over here to this little arrow next to it and I say show in folder. And let me grab, grab that. Okay, can you see my dialog box with the zip folder on it? Okay, so I double click the zip folder and I click extract. And I'm just gonna use the default that it did it to because it's actually the same. You'll see that it's still the same folder. And now I have the front and the back downloaded onto my computer. So easy done there. And then we go back over to Vistaprint. So now we have the, you'll see it's that square size. You've got your, your inside, which is that double size, which is why we had to do the separate image in Canva and then your back. Okay, so we're gonna go back up to the front and we're going to come over to the left of where it says images and I'm going to upload the image. And let me, oops, no, nope, go back here and let me go to workshops and Canva cards, holiday 2022. And we're going to go to holiday front back. So there you see my, our little gnome. And I'm just going to hit shift and I'm going to do both of them at the same time and upload that. Now it's probably going to dump both of them onto here. Yep, it did. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that one. So now we have our little gnome guy on the front. Okay, did that make sense what I just did there? So I brought in both images, but it put both images onto that front of the card. So I just deleted one of them. But as you can see, it's still over here. So I'm gonna go down to the back of the card and I'm gonna select the back, done, easy. So now I'm gonna come up to the inside of the card and I'm gonna come back to upload one more time. And there's our example that we just made. Hit open. 
it doesn't like my resolution. So it takes a second to sharpen it and that's fine, but it'll look just fine. There we go. Perfect. And so I just read over it, make sure I didn't make any typos or anything. So that's fine. And one of the things I love about Vistaprint too, is you can come up here and they have a preview button. So I hit that and there's the front of my card. And I love how it shows somebody's hands in there reading the card and then the back of the card. So I'm perfectly happy with that. So I'm gonna close out of that. You can change the size of the card, but once you've had this part done, I wouldn't recommend doing that. And then I just hit next. So it's shown me all of them and I'm perfectly happy with it. Everything looks wonderful. It's clear and legible. The more, everything's within the space. Everything's accurate and spelled correctly. The image is clear. Yep, it looks good. So I take that. Then I can, and if, you, if it's not, you can edit and go back and change things. But for now, I'm just gonna say continue. And, oh, I get to select my paper stock. I'm just gonna do the usual glossy. So that's because that way, other, you can pay a little bit extra, but I'm just gonna keep it on that one. And I'm just gonna add that to my cart. And I get, so I can get the free white envelopes. So that's awesome. Good thing that they come with envelopes. Hit continue. And then of course, they're going to try and get you to buy more stuff to go along with it. And I have to admit the, the mouse pad is cute. The mug is cute, but I'm just gonna leave it at that and just continue to my cart. And that's it. So I saved dollars on this order. If I had a checkout code, I could put that in there and go from there. So that's really all there is to it. And their timeline to get them, you probably should have them no later than the 10th of December, if not earlier. When I ordered my mugs, I'm supposed to get them by Wednesday next week. And so it, it'll take maybe 10 days max to get those mugs. So there's so it's still time that if you wanted to order make and order cards, you could still get them in plenty of time to send them out before the Christmas holidays or whatever holiday you celebrate this time of year. So that is pretty much it. So I just want to check in and see if there are any questions. If, if everybody got that, there will be a, a copy of the recording sent out within the next few days. As soon as I get that back from TechSoup Connect, you'll get a copy of that via email. So I just wanted to check in and see if there are any other questions, anything else that anyone would like to go over, just drop a message in the chat and I'll be happy to do that. Let me just also share that. So there's my information. If you have any additional questions or would like to contact me, I do a lot of different things. I work with people to basically use the technology that they need to run their business, whether it's things like mail or light, Canva event like that. <laughs> yeah, it just says that this is great. I'll probably have questions when I make my own. Absolutely. And that's why I'm putting my information up there is if you do start going through this process and you're not quite sure exactly what to do, you're more than welcome to reach out to me and I'm happy to help you through that little bit. So I want to thank everyone for joining me today. Again, I'm Kat Milner, the owner, operator, and chief tech ninja of Create Your Change. It's been an absolute pleasure to do this workshop with you. I hope you found it helpful. I hope I didn't speed through it too quickly. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. And I hope you send your clients some wonderful holiday greetings and wish you all the best wrap up for the year and a very prosperous 2023. Thanks for joining us.